I would like to introduce our next uh, presenter, my colleague Alek Petrov from CRT, head of scientific department, scientific research department of the company. Alek, I know that uh, starting last year, your scientific group was recognized as the best in the world in uh, voice recognition and tough uh, noisy conditions you were the winners in China and you were better than teams from China and Europe and the technology was awarded uh, due to utilization of several mics in the environment so it means that technologies um, available for telephone channels are can also be used in the front office in other conditions so it might be very interesting for us uh, to know more about it Alek the floor is yours Hello, dear friends. Thank you very much, uh, Dmitry. My name is Oleg Petrov. I'm from CRT group of companies. In this company, I am head of scientific research department. Today, we're going to speak about a more applied task about the challenges, uh, scientific and technological challenges we face those we try to overcome translating and transferring those instruments of speech analytics uh, that have been operating in our call centers for many years now into our sales offices. Now, just a few words on our scientific research de R&D department. Slightly over numbering, uh, slightly over 100 employees, many holding degrees on machine learning, data, sound, voice, or image processing. And we are very careful about our academic status. We also use an international research laboratory at uh, ITMO University that we're closely cooperating with. Now, speaking of the areas of R&D research that we are using for uh, speech analytics challenges, this is a SAR voice biometrics, voice entities spoofing, race biometrics, uh, face liveness, and all UNTTS. Serious focus is provided not only to tasks uh, business-wise, not just uh, product development side, but also participation in various contests to confirm our scientific status. One of the serious contests uh, we have won last year, one of the tracks, it was called Chime 6 Challenge 2020, second, third place track one, first place track two this year. Uh, 2021 uh, contest both also performed very well. Now moving on to speech analytics and call centers. Let's begin with the classics. These are the cases, uh, call centers. So the cases solved in telephone channels and they are quite well known, not just to us vendors providing these technologies, but the customers are also used to them, they are aware of them. This is cross-sale, specific vocabulary controls, control of script, forbidden phrases control. All of these are here on screen. And uh, as soon as we begin with science, first scientific uh, breakthroughs, as soon as the industry became successful in uh, speech recognition in noisy environments on the medium mic, a very logical idea emerged to move away from call centers to sales or front offices because uh, we use similar communications between clients and operators. Now let me explain what is necessary. This slide has some priorities ranked. Let's note whether it's uh, simple to process all the cases we are used to in telephone channels. Let's look at the pipeline of speech analytics, general representation. On the one hand, we have a media storage, and certainly sound arrives from various sources. This is certainly related to difficult or sometimes not overly difficult recording systems. 
and the phonograms contained in this media storage are multi-channel. Each phonogram is matched against metadata. And somewhere on the other hand, or on the other end of this pipeline, is the speech analytics engine focused on resolving business cases. So, speaking of the terminology I will use from here on, we use a digital footprint concept. It's a dialogue or a polylogue containing all the phrases that were said, but each of the participants to this dialogue or polylogue. In uh, regular speech analytics, certainly this is client plus operator. And if we take large volume of speech data that is recorded for data analytics and digitalism, create them into something which we can later progress. This is the magic, this technological stack that uh, we are into. Let me begin with the beginning, with the basic technology along this vector is automatic speech recognition. That's a long story, a story not specific for LVCRT. We try to stay abreast of the community, and I would also know three key points. 2012, we began working with spontaneous speech, LVCSR in Russian. We had recognition that was able to work with special domains, for instance, with uh, banking terminology. We're speaking of language models now. And speaking of the replication frameworks, so this is around 30%. And the uh, year 18, uh, we overcame this mark. Soros overcome this mark, we were very close. In year 18, we began working on the middle microphone channel. Also, speech recognition in open spaces, communication of two people that are not interested to be uh, recognized. Uh, uh, this is a far field, so-called. And in 21, we are now focused on cocktail party scenarios, on the wild acoustic scenarios. Now, speaking of speech and recognition, speech analytics, focusing on uh, call center cases and their solutions. It should be noted that uh, on the phone, this job has the following characteristics. When two people are speaking, mostly this is stereo recordings. And uh, client operator conversations also use separate uh, connection, wire connections. So if we use uh, speech recognition on each of the channels, this will provide a readable, understandable dialogue that could be processed using speech analytics. However, if we try and do the same in the front office for far field, where people are speaking in a broadcast or on air, and even multi-channel recording the phrases overlap, and as you see on the slide, we see some overlaps. So same words are recognized across different channels, and albeit with different quality, clearer if the mic is closer to the operator, the audio quality is enhanced. So apart from speech recognition, it is necessary uh, to use the support of uh, key technologies. I have identified four key blocks to be fo for focus, uh, and I will tell you more. These are the technologies which are necessary additionally to speech recognition technology so that speech analytics front office begin, work, begin working. First of all, DRization. We have to decide which phrases are attributed to which speaker. 
Next is speaker labeling as customer or operator, role detection. We need to understand which of the speakers is the operator and which is the customer. It is interesting to know that diarization approaches are either, placed, are either located on spatial uh, attributes or voice biometry. However, role detection uh, important part is played by natural language processing algorithms. The next serious block is speech separation. It is important when the percentage of overlapping speech runs high and we need to separate sounds from each other. Another block which is less obvious is the session segmentation. We are detecting the time intervals for servicing each customer. It happens naturally during a telephone call in a telephone channel. Because if a person hung up, the session is over. In a front office, this is a big job. A whole vector of research it can be tackled by household tools like time checks. But in this case, it's not clear what we do if the check is not in. Also, it can be done through digital queuing, NLP algorithms. In any case, it's a very important subject. Now, let us focus a little longer on the specific cases and say, um, look, I have just uh, gone through many complicated technologies. Let's now look at whether they are always required and necessary. Let us begin with the most obvious case. This is a specific uh, terminology cells. There are phrases that are always said by the operator, or the operator should always say, but the client will never say these phrases. In these cases, we don't need diarization. The client will never offer the operator a package, won't say, do you need a package? In this case, can be used using only ASR. The next is prohibited term phrases. I have used uh, a card a sample, the word card. Card is a simple word and it is prohibited here. Any client can use it, but operator cannot use it. He should use the word card in full, credit card, not just card. And in this case, uh, we cannot do a simple speech recognition patterns because we need to understand that the word card was said by the operator to detect the situation and provide proper feedback and correction of behavior, thereby improving the customer journey. In this case, it is sufficient not to resolve the whole challenge. However, just half of it, which is connected to the fact that it is that it suffices to understand where the operator spoke. And now the third case I will provide by way of example is a full-fledged case work with objections when we need to track behavior inside a dialogue where the client is rejecting something and operator in case of rejection of service has to offer another probably a better, make a better offer. And in this case, we need a full stack of technologies that I have mentioned earlier. This is uh, separating the operator phrases, separating customer phrases, and also apart from that, we need to filter all the phrases accidentally caught by the microphone. For instance, the neighbors. Now, coming back to the cases, actually, the approach we used, or rather the classification corrects himself, the speaker, the classification of cases we used allows us to separate it into three key blocks, where the first 
group. So no dollarization cases and uh, can be resolved in ordinary protocol second group listed the cases which were sep which separated only operator phrases and the last was most complicated requiring full analysis full dialogue and the goal uh, that we have in our department few words important things for speech analytics first of this is certainly an important consideration uh, when we are working on business challenges we need to use the business baselines when we can simplify something by using the queue methods electronic queue we have to do it. So it's important to move uh, and cons uh, using the real use cases. The next point uh, is the actual availability of speech recognition technology. And I will note specifically spontaneous speech. If speaking of speech analytics has to work with spontaneous speech. Now another important point is the equipment you are using for recording the right sound. This has to be recorded 24-7. When uh, front office is functioning. Why is this important? Because part of the algorithms connected to spatial solutions, spatial attributes are very critical about losing part of the sample and so on. And lastly is the width of service. So speaking of the statistics, which is used to structure uh, the systems of speech analytics, they have to be as complete as possible. That's all for me. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alec, for your interesting presentation. We have some questions also from our audience. Uh, first is, could we say that uh, this front office analytics is fully fledged? All of the cases are resolved. Is it a working solution or is it more of R&D project? Look, that's a very good question. It doesn't have an uh, unequivocal yes or no answer. First of all, if we compare case solvability, front office case, uh, front office cases to the way we work with cases and telephone channel, the status of research is very high. It's still necessary to conduct lots of additional work on the recording systems, algorithms, and everything else. On the other hand, if we were to compare it to two years ago, we have made a huge leap forward and are today resolving more and more scenarios. Thank you. And another question from our audience. What is most important uh, for the expert in uh, voice analysis? I think we're talking about skills here. Could you please tell us more about your team skills? What is most? Uh, what are the most important skills for experts? Look, the teams are vastly different, and any teams, uh, any team uses multiple profiles. This may have the NN experts uh, on general machine learning. This may have other more specific, more specific experts in speech processing. So if I were to provide a direct answer, then I would say that the most important uh, quality is to be open to something new because the industry is changing and the focus in the industry often shifts from one task to another. And it's important to continue learning and continue 
monitoring uh, the environments, uh, uh, monitoring the academic environment uh, in terms of latest academic developments and also business developments affecting our lives being changed. By way of advice, could you uh, give some advice to young researchers, young developers? What should they focus on in terms of self-development, self-realization, self-education to become a successful data analytics expert? Look, I would recommend them find a good team and choose a good company that uh, would be comfortable to grow next to strong experts. That's my answer. Thank you very much, Alec.